everyone welcome back to my channel it is your girl sana from so crafty sana and i am back with a couple of things but for right now we are going to be settling out my weekly expenses for january the 5th okay you guys so it's been a day i will say that but um welcome to all my new subscribers and followers um if you want to see how i use my payday budget book to manage my money to help me stay on track to help me save to help me cut back to help me just be aware over all of my finances please stay tuned okay so first things first i am going to let me just go ahead and open it up and so here we are i don't have many expenses from january 1st to january the 5th i did have two no spend days there's no spending on the third and there's no spending on the first and here is where i keep track of my no spends okay so i spent 25 dollars 91 cents on tuesday $310.22 on Thursday and $558.96 on Friday. That is because we bought a fire pit um, also and um, some other accessories. But this is all of my spending for the week. Um, this does not include anything business related that comes from a business account. It doesn't include anything like that. So first things first, I am going to get my uh let's see i may have some already in my sticker album my expense cash out strip so let me see if i have some here i do i do i do so i'm gonna take take them from there instead of going to the back of the book it may be a little easier so let's see i am going to get how many categories? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. Um, I'm going to put a blank one first. And so I just take it and I line it up right there, right underneath. Fits perfectly, but I'm not doing it perfect. I intend to, but it just didn't happen. Okay. And then I am going to take one that has the words on it, which says total cash and card. And then I'm going to just line that up right underneath of there. And that's for when you have a lot of categories for the week. It just gives you more line. But for me, I like to see my total spending. I like to see how much of that was cash and how much of that was card. That is me. You don't need to do that. You can hand write all of that in. You don't need to buy these in order to do that. Me, you know, that's just how I remember things. So I'm going to get my, so I use three color pens when I'm budgeting. I use blue to write down all of my card spending. I use green to write down all of my cash spending. And I use red to signify any um, cards that I'm paying back or any money I'm taking out of my expense funds so you'll see that in a second so first things first i am going to first write down all of my categories so we have dine and i usually highlight them um with my color code but i just didn't do that yet i have selfie and i can go through uh, me money food dine i did household uh, dress because I did food and I did dine and then I have car so if I'm not mistaken that is all of my spending for the week so now I'm gonna go through and just get my total spend all right so let's see 795 plus 1796 plus 235 plus 20 plus 4467 plus 1055 plus 9009 plus 7847 plus 9154 plus 11920 plus 1112 plus 168.54 plus 250 equals. So my total spend for the week was $897.59. Not bad. I know only $20 was cash because I could see that right there. Which means um, 
I'm not gonna write, I'll write that in blue. So that means $877.59, you guys, was card. But hey, I'm not worried about that. And you wanna know why? Because I purposely spend on my credit card to get my cashback rewards. Now, wait till you see my cash stuff and then how much my cashback rewards was for, Jean for December of 2023. And then I can show you all my total cashback rewards for the entire year of 2023. And then I can cash stuff them. Okay. So now I'm going to go through and get these totals. Okay. So we know dining out is $7.95 plus $17.96 plus... I'm making sure I'm staying in camera for you all. Okay. $17.96 plus $10.55 plus $11.12 equals. So... $47.58 is what I spent on dining out. I budgeted for $50. So you guys, I'm on budget. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to put an asterisk next to that at the end. Selfie. Selfie is $235. I have a sinking fund for that, so I didn't go over budget. Me money. So let's see. Me money. So 20 and so $98.47. But part of that. $20 weeks cash, so I'll only need to pull $78.47 back from me money. All right, so let's see how much we spent in food. My budget for food this month, I believe, was $225 or $200. I'll check my wallet and see. So food was $44.67 plus $119.20 equals. So I spent $163.87 in food. No matter what, I'm under budget. So clap, clap for that. Okay, household. Household, I went ham. I don't even know if I have money in my household sinking fund anymore. And plus 168.54 equals $258.63. And dress, that was stuff for my daughter. And that was $91.54. Okay, so I have a sinking fund for that as well. Car was $2.50. That just was the parking meter, so... There you have it, but I, am, I do have a sinking fund for that as well. All right, you guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through all of these envelope categories, pull the money out so that I can pull $877.59 and pay back my card. Let's see if I have this money. So first things first, I'm going to go to my wallet. And by the way, the Zippy wallet, I want to say, is probably my favorite of all my wallet collections, right? And I think that the Caramel Zippy is currently my favorite, right? I mean, I have them all, literally, so. But I do believe that this one here is my favorite. Like, I believe this, this wallet here. This is the Caramel Zippy, not the Mini Zippy. Okay, so let me move this over. And let's get this money. So I need me money, $98.47. So let's see what I have in me money. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 161, 80, 200, 222, 42, 62, 80, 281, 282. So I have $282 and I need 98. So one, two, three, five. Well, four. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. All right, so I'll get... A dollar change or two dollars in change when I um get other money. So I'm just gonna put that I took $98 from me money. Okay, so I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 81, 82. So I'll have 81, 84 left when I get to two dollars. Okay, dining out was 47.58, so that's 48 dollars. So I need two dollars. I need two dollars back from dining out. I'm taking 48 from there. Car maintenance, you know what, you guys? I have to get change. The reason why is because I just I need 10 ones. So let's see who has 10 ones. I'm thinking my rollovers might have 10 ones. So not my rollovers, my reward cash. All right, let's see. And maybe one of my sinking my savings challenges. Okay, so let me look and I need money not fillings. I'm going to go over to reward cash and I need to replace this envelope. Let me see if I have some change. No, I only have two ones in there, but let's see 
if anywhere else has any ones. No. That payoff has, nope, that's only $1. I'm pretty sure that's $1. $1. No money there. Okay, hold on, you guys. Let's see where I might have some ones. No ones there. Well, let me see if subscriptions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. And then take a five. Okay, so I'm going to take the 10 from the money I'm putting, taking rather. And then I'm going to put 10 there. Okay, so at least I can give some money back. Oh, let me close this. Sorry. Okay, so we do know that $2 is going to go back to me money. So I'm going to put that in me money. Dining out is supposed to get $2 back because I only took $48 and I put $50. So for car maintenance, which is a $10, I still don't have enough. I need $2.50, so I would say $3. So I still need change from somewhere. Let's see if I have any ones in this binder. One, nope. It's hard to come by. I know one of my savings channels. Let's see what giveaways. Oh, giveaways has, I just need five ones. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So do I have a five here? Yes. So I'm going to take this five, put it back to uh, giveaways. Oh. All right. And then put it here. This is why I'm called the chaotically cute budgeter. Number one, everything is chaotically cute. And I'm cute too, though. So, you know, there you have it. I'm cute too. Me cute too, Gammy. That's what my granddaughter said. Okay, so car maintenance, I need fudge cakes, you guys. I need more change. Boy, I need more change. I need more change. Hold on. With the Sadika, and I had some change in Sadika, so I need a 10 and two fives. Just gonna take that 20. Okay, I just need to get change for a 10. I mean, a 20. Okay, now we back in business. It's not that simple, y'all. Okay, so now I gotta go back to car maintenance, and I need three dollars. One, two, three. No, seven. One, two, so seven dollars. Because I'm giving three dollars to car maintenance, okay. So seven dollars goes back into car maintenance. That was a doozy, y'all. So I took three dollars from there. All right. So I oh food, car maintenance, gas. I didn't get any gas this week, so good on that. Food one sixty three eighty seven. We have fifty one hundred one fifty two hundred two twenty two twenty five. So I need 164, so 200, and then $36. So I need $36, so 20, 30, 5, 36. So I'll put the 200 here, and if I'm not mistaken, 164 and 36 is 200. Y'all want me to count it? Okay. 200 minus 164 equals 36 dollars so 20 30 35 36 so in food i have left 20 40 50 55 60 61 so i have 61 left in food and that's not bad so i did 164 in food household i need 258 dollars and 63 cents so I am going to take $30 from this household envelope, and I have a sinking fund as well. So I'll get to that in a second. Miscellaneous, don't need anything so far. All right, so that is it for my variable spending, all of my cash envelopes in my Zippy wallet. Now I'm going to go over to my sinking fund binder. Let me finish household first, because I started. So I need $228.63. So that's 259. 259 minus 30 equals 
$229. So let's see if I have $229 in household. Household is a sinking fund. I have two. I keep one in my wallet for little household items, but then I have a sinking fund where I accumulate a balance. So we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 260, 265, 270, 271, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. So $276. And I need $229, 100, 150. So let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 15, 20. Oh boy, I did that wrong. I didn't do it wrong, but technically 150. What do I need? 150, 170, 190, 210, 220. 225, 26, 27, 28, 29. I think that's 229. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225, 26, 27, 28, 29. So $229 is coming from my household envelope, 229. And that is going to leave me with 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. That's going to leave me with $48 in household. That just means I got to build that envelope back up, you guys. That's all that means. But it's a sinking fund, and it's little savings goals for things like this. Okay? All right, so I took $229 from household so I could pay that credit card back down to zero. Thank you. Okay? And now I think that is it for this envelope. So now I'm going to go to my personal envelope and take out... Um, take out I need $235 for my hair. So so I have 100 150 200 250 300 350 370 390 410 430 450 455. So I need 235. So 200 and 40. So 240 and let me get a 5. Okay, so I gave 235 235. So let's see what I have left you all. So I have 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, 220. So I have $220. So 220 is what I have left and I took out 235. And I have to build this back up because I will have another hair appointment at the end of the month. I will be getting a manicure and pedicure. So there you have it. And what else? Dress. Now, that was my daughter. She, I don't know where she bought some stuff from. I think TJ Maxx. So, I'm not going to take it out of her uh, sinking fund. I'm going to take it out of the dress sinking fund. So, let's see if I have $91. 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. So, I only have $58. So, I'm going to take that. And that's going to leave me with zero. So, I'm going to take the 58 from dress. And then I need, let's see, 92 minus 58 equals, I need 34 more dollars. So what I'm going to do now is see if I have any money in buffer. So if I have any money in buffer, because that's what the buffer sinking fund is for, then I will pull $34 from buffer. So let's see what we have in buffer. And I have to take this debt payoff money, $736. I am going to combine it with student loans 281 and then i think i'm going to take all of my rollover money and my reward cash money you guys and combine all of that into either one no these two got to go to debt the other two i might make a debt payment with or do a huge cash stuffing so buffer we have 25 dollars. you guys minus 25 and zero i know what else i'm gonna do okay so I'm going to write miscellaneous and I'm going to, no, buffer. Well, I'll leave miscellaneous too and buffer because I'm going to take $10 from buffer. So buffer is minus 25 and what did I need? $34 and miscellaneous is going to be minus nine because I need nine more dollars. All right. So let's go back to my wallet and grab that miscellaneous. 
I'm going to take out the 10, but put a dollar back because I only need, I only need $9, right? Because wasn't it 92 minus 58 equals 34 minus 25 equals nine. Yeah. So I'm going to give $9 and take back a dollar and put it in miscellaneous. I like to settle to the penny, you guys. So that dollar means something. Okay. So there you have it. I should have $878. I should. Did I get money from every... I should. And I did good. Let's see. This doesn't seem like $800. And, um, it doesn't seem like that, right? Let me just... Oh, wait. Sorry. Okay. 50 Okay, you guys, let's do it. Do y'all think this is it? Am I missing something? Because I don't recall. I don't feel like I collected that much, but maybe because I have some 50s and some 100s, maybe. 10, 20, 50s, 100s. Okay, so 5, 10, 20, 50, 100. Okay. Alrighty, you guys, $878 is what we need to pay back all of my spending for the week. 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 600, 620, 640, 660, 680, 700, 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, 820, 840, 850, 860, 870, 880. Eight eighty five, eight ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, eight hundred and ninety nine. Oh, cause I took, I took ninety eight from me money, and remember twenty dollars was cash, so I really needed to take seventy eight from me money. Let me erase that and make that seventy eight, and let me take twenty back. And put that back into my wallet. And I'm going to recount it. Because who doesn't like to count money? Me. I don't like to count money, y'all. I don't. I hate it. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 161, 80, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have $204 in me money. And technically, let's see. Maybe I won't give myself money this week. But y'all know how I feel about me. I'm going to give me some money. And I'm not spending it. But guess what? Because I'm not spending it, do you peep what's happening? I'm saving it. It's still there. So, you know, everybody could calm down. It's still saving no matter what. If it sits in my wallet, it's saved. 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 600, 620, 640, 660, 680, 700, 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, 820, 830, 840, 850, 860, 865, 870. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. So I really could take back a dollar because I have 878 right here. I don't need 879. So I am going to put 800. I didn't want to write that in blue. I want to write that in green. $878 is what I have accumulated back. And that was real simple. That was not bad to me. Oh, and the next thing I'm going to do is, and I'll let you all see this. So here I'm going to write down a credit card. So that's my Apple card. That is my Amex Blue Cash Preferred, my Chase Freedom. And I use that for all dining out. And so between the these three cards is where the money's going to go. So I'm going to put this dollar back somewhere i don't know i'll throw it in the envelope um so i'm gonna total up all my spending for apple which was 7.95 plus 17.96 plus 235 plus 90.09 plus 78.47 plus 91.54 plus 250 equals so that's $523.51 needs to go to my Apple card. My Amex Blue Cash Preferred is $44.67 plus $119.20 equals 
So that's $163.87. And I get 6% cash back on all grocery stores. So that's why I use my Amex Blue Cash Preferred when I go food shopping. My Chase Freedom, I get 3% cash back rewards for any dining out. So if I'm doing any dining out, um, restaurants, things like that, I'll use my Chase Freedom because that I get the highest 3% on that card. Okay, so let's see. My Chase Freedom is 6 10 55 plus I don't know why I didn't use my chase freedom. I think I did it by accident there. 1055 plus where's my chase freedom? 11 12 equals so that's 2167. And I just want to see if I added this right. 163.87 plus 523.51 equals What am I missing? Am I missing something? Why is that? No, no, no. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, household. My Amex Blue Cash Prefer. Okay. 163.87 plus 168.54 equals. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. This should total 878 or something. So 332.41 plus 21.67 plus 523.51 equals there we have it there it is that's the breakdown that's going back to my card and those amounts from this money i just accumulated and that is how i settle out my weekly expenses everyone now i will take my red pen and i will just write here that i paid these amounts so i don't have to worry and i just round them up to the nearest dollar and that way it should equal out still to the money i um accumulated so 169 and $3. And there you have it. That is how I manage my money. I settle my expenses out. I track my expenses week to week, settle them out every week, and then pay back my card and start a new week. That's how I manage my money. How do you do yours? Please stay tuned for my cash stuffing, um, which is coming up next. Bye. Mm -hmm.